Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. What do you do when you can't get out to the barbers and you could do with having your sides cut or at least freshened up? Hmm. I happen to have clippers at home and hair cutting shears. Why? Because I like to think sometimes that I can freshen up my own hairstyle? Hmm. Exactly. In between hair, um, hair visits to the barbers, um, I usually go every two weeks, but however, if I can't get there in two weeks, I do try to tidy up things myself. Now today, I'm coming up to that point where I would like my sides to be freshened back in. Nice and blunt, nice and sharp, sleek. I'm gonna have a go at doing it myself. But the back worries me a little bit. The only thing I've got is a mirror. Am I gonna give it a try? I've got clippers, I have wall clippers, which are really, really great. Um, I paid about, I paid quite a bit of money for them. I say quite a bit, I paid about 80 pounds for them, I think. That might be wrong. However, I, in fact, actually, I can't quite remember how much. I think that was with the scissors, which I have as well. But here it goes anyway. As you can tell, I'm a little bit hesitant, but I'm going to give it a try. I'll be back once. I have finished to show off the end result. So as you can see now, this needs doing, this needs doing, because when I had my last haircut, the person who normally, the lady who normally cuts my hair, wasn't actually in. She's actually, um, because of everything happening with the coronavirus um, and being pregnant, she wasn't able to be at work, which I completely understand, and that's the best place for her. Um, but the person then who stepped in to do my hair, kind of because I've got this mole here shied away from having this normal and I normally would have it all around here but they kind of left this which is really really bugging me so this comes up a bit higher but what they've done is they've kind of brought this in so they didn't have to do this part up in here it looks difficult it probably is I've never actually cut my own hair before I've actually done my brothers I have three brothers and I've done two of theirs and I have to admit I've actually done my nans as well and I have actually done my mums and I've done my dads as well how you may think and where did i get this from okay all stems from actually looking after my grandmother my nan when she had um when she has um when she started getting worse with alzheimer's um my nan lost the ability to be able to go to salons and things and her hair was absolutely everything to her um and is still is but my nan is in a different stage of her life now but she still loves her hair to look nice and um bless her she's 94 in june and she still doesn't have gray hair she always said to my mum that she didn't want to die a gray haired lady which that's what my mum tries to keep up to, up, up, tries to keep that up for her, um, and I help as well. But cutting is a different thing, and I've actually done that. And the reason why you may think, why would I cut my nan's hair, is because I like to think I gradually taught myself, and I'm not fantastic, but I can do it. Um, I taught myself so my nan could still have lovely, nice hair without her having to go to a salon or anything. Where she lives in like a complex of people with my nan who has Alzheimer's, like a care home, um, but it's it's much, it's, she's a little bit more privileged in that where she has a very, like a big apartment and things. And it's, um, and it, and it is lovely. It is lovely for her uh, circumstances. Um, but the hairdresser there is okay, but she's extortionately expensive. And it's kind of like a one style suits all. And we're all individuals and we all want something different. So I actually um, do my nans. Um, and yeah, I wasn't, I was never actually going to say it on my channel because it can come across a little bit strange, can't it? But that's how I taught myself and that's the reason why. Um, so I could, I could ensure that my nan had great hair because that's what she loved. Um, and that's what she still loves. So yeah, I've done it for quite a while now. And my mum's got really, really long hair, um, all the way down her back. And I, I, I do that sometimes. Um, my dad has short hair. I do that sometimes. Um, my eldest brother has really tight curly hair. I do that sometimes, and my twin brother has short hair, very much like myself, but his is a bit thicker. Um, so yeah, yeah, strange, isn't it? I will probably attach some pictures, but I'm going to see if I can give mine a go and see what the sides are like. My priority, um, not my priority, sorry, um, my, to be honest, I, I much prefer going to the barbers to get mine done. Um, I When my hair was shorter and I was a bit younger, a couple years back, um, and I had short hair, I would be doing it myself. I would be cutting the top and the sides myself. But when it's a bit longer and you've got a bit more finer hair, it's not so forgiving. Hmm. But with not being able to go out at the moment, I hate my sides growing out. So I'm going to give it a try. And I'll be back shortly. 
Okay, I'm back. So I haven't yet jumped in to do it. I've literally put the cape on, got ready, um, and got everything ready. A little bit nervous, have to admit, because I'm a bit worried about the back. I may be asking somebody downstairs, one of my family members, possibly my mum, to give me a hand with it. Um, but yeah, just thought I would run through. So I have literally got my wall clippers here. Really, really nice, really, really great, and they're great for fading. And I am getting better, and I'm really, really great with... Um, doing the fades for sides sort of of my my father's cut my brother's cuts as well so i'm getting a lot better on that i have to admit so for me i will be doing the number one guard and the 0.5 and blending in between with the element of being able to literally reduce the length of the guard with the blade inside with this little toggle here i don't know the exact words because i'm not a professional and i know people will probably be absolutely cringing at this but you know what i do do a a good job i can i can kind of convince you on that i'm sure um but that's what i'm going to be doing off with now got my comb <laughs> got my comb got my shears and let's give it a try i'll be back shortly and we're back so i have done it i have to admit i was absolutely that nervous but I've done it, and do you know what? For the first time ever, I've actually got my hair how I've wanted it. Every time I say, could you leave a blunt line to the uh, lady who cuts my hair, or different people who have cut my hair before, usually end up starting to blend it out and end up looking like completely the same, to be honest with you. So it was really nice, actually, to be able to cut my hair how I want it. And I have to admit, I did struggle at the back, and I got my mum, my amazing, amazing, amazing mum, love her to pieces, to finish the back of my hair. And do you know what? I really, really like it so straight off i've got my nice prominent line as you can see my nice prominent line and do you know what it looks really cool i really really like it and this bit here what i was saying to you so yeah i have this mole here which i'm, I'm never so keen on um but i've also got to be careful because when i've had my hair cut before um this has actually been cut into but what i noticed what the last person done who doesn't usually cut my hair is instead of keeping a nice line they literally come down here, ducked past the mole, and I thought, that's not what I asked you to do. Just go really, really careful with it, and it's absolutely fine. So here I've got that really nice defined line. Nice defined line. And it's where I want it to be. Very often when I've got my, I've had my hair cut, it's never where I want it to be. It's I have to admit, I really, really like it. This side I really love in the light. And you can see that I've got a really nice definition. So let me show you the back. Hopefully you will be able to see. I'm just going to gradually... So hopefully you can see I've got the, hopefully you can see the difference. Hopefully it looks good. I like it, I have to admit. And yeah, really pleased actually, really pleased. And you know what? That does not look like that that was cut at home at all. And I've just had my hair cut to a good standard, professional, I have to admit. And I've not left the house at all. And you know what, that looks really nice. And I always say, when you get your sides freshened up when you're a man, it always makes you look really much more on point, much more modern, youthful, and cool. And I like how I've got the lengths on the top as well. I did think to myself, shall I take some length off, make sure the ends are smart? But to be honest, I just left it because I looked at my hair, I didn't really need to. And I just sprayed it back in place with some free spray. And I really like it, love how sharp that is. Every time I've asked to have that done at the barbers, it's always such a challenge, it seems to. So that's the key, isn't it? The relationship with who cuts your hair. You have to have a good rapport with them for them to be able to keep giving you the right style. And you know what, I hate it when they get used to they barely even talk to you and they just get used to how you want your hair cut. So this is actually a bit of an eye opener for me. Sometimes it doesn't do good to have the same person cutting your hair for years and years and years. And I've had the same lady cutting my hair, who's been amazing for a very, very long time. But when you want something a bit more fresher, a bit more sleeker and a bit more modern, it's nice to change up things. And look how nice that is. So this is a grade. So here we've gone to a 0.5. So I've literally got my wall clippers, as we've seen previously. I've lost the cape and everything now. 0.5 guard, you know, that lime green guard on there. And then with a little toggle where you can move the blade further up. Really good for when you do a fade because you start with the toggle right back. So you've got that space for the blade there. And then you've got the guard. And then as you blend... As you go into the hair a bit more, then you move it up a little bit, get the blade even closer, move it up a little bit more and a bit more, and you get that really nice fade. I don't like that. I like a really defined edge. So what I've done is I've just done it twice. So literally I've moved it, moved it down and then moved it up. And then literally I've got a 0.5 guard and I really, really like the style. Look at that lush defined line. 
<laughs> really, really cool. Really like it. And then all this little length going on on top, it looks really, really nice. And hopefully, the back, I'll just show you another look at the back. Hopefully the back looks really nice. I like a defined point there because with my hearing aids, which I haven't put back in yet, you can see it's really nice. I have to admit, who would have thought it? Yes. And you know what? I'm not going to put the pictures up. Actually, I thought about it. I'm not going to put the pictures up for this clip. I'm going to explain all in another clip about, yes, I can cut hair to an amateur level. I'm not going to take that away from anybody else. It is not easy. I am not professional and it takes a long time, a lot of training to do that. So I don't know all the technical terms. I don't know anything like that at all. But what I do do is I do do a job which people are happy with. And of course, they still like my nan, my mum, whoever, my brother, my, my dad, they still go to a professional barber. But what I can do is just extend the length of time before they have to go in again. So of course it saves them money, they're happy, it's a bonding thing because I can do it with them. And it's amazing that I get to do it with my nan and I can still keep my nan looking as glamorous as ever how she would have liked to. And that I am going to be doing a clip real soon. Thanks very much for watching my clip and I'm happy with the result. And yeah, hopefully it looks good as well. So thanks very much and until next time we will see you then. Bye now.